Let's make history. The neighborhood of East Flatbush was never really a thing until deep into the 20th century. The Lenape Native Americans were indigenous to this area, all the way down to Delaware. When the Dutch had it, it was part of the town of Midwout. Check out my video on the history of Midwood if you haven't, and all my related content. I'm available on all platforms. And so the town was called Midwout. When the British took over, it became Flatbush. Uh, the house behind me was actually built in the early 1600s and the Wyckoff family moved in in the mid 1600s. The house still stands right now. I'm on Clarendon Road in East Flatbush and uh, off of East 59th Street. It's used as a museum. In the 1700s with the building of Erasmus Hall High School, the location around the high school became unofficially known as Erasmus. Then fast forward to the turning of the 20th century, right after the subway opened up to the public, the rest of the area which would become East Flatbush, aside from the Erasmus section, which is on the Western end, began to be developed into, a resi into two distinct residential neighborhoods, and that's Farragut and Rugby. Now Rugby, which is the bulk of it, is sometimes called Rugby Wingate, and it's actually named after the founder of the NRA. Go figure. Nowadays, the area is called Remsen Village. And there's even, it's a subsection of East Flatbush and there's even a subsection within the subsection of Remsen Village, which is called the 90s. And it's basically notorious for being a dangerous neighborhood. Its infamy was further cemented with the criminal case and conviction of popular rappers Bobby Schmurder and Rowdy Rebel. Farragut, on the other hand, is basically the southern edge of East Flatbush, and nobody really calls it that, though that's the technical name on paper. When the average Brooklynite hears Farragut, they think of the projects behind Fort Greene. Like most neighborhoods in Brooklyn, initially it was Italians and Jews primarily. As they moved out into the suburbs of Long Island, Queens, and even deeper into Brooklyn and Staten Island, hordes of West Indians, different groups of West Indians began to move in. Today it is a West Indian working class enclave.